Hey everybody, so uh, happy to see you here on week one. Uh, it's been exciting interacting with a lot of you in the, in the forum so far, both of the community problems. Um, so I just want to put out a quick message saying uh, two key, with two key ideas. Uh, the first is time and the second is communication. Okay, so first under the time umbrella. Um, first of all, your community problems first posts are due uh, tonight on Wednesday. If you're in calculus, it's on Thursday because we had that delay with SUNY. Um, but the importance of getting those posts into the forum uh, early in the week so that we can have time to reply, get everybody on the same page, make corrections and stuff before the following week. In the math course, everything builds. So the timeliness is really important for us. This, um, you know, extensions aren't really going to make sense in a format where we kind of need to be on pace with this stuff. So uh, stick with the community, stick with the pacing guide. And in the vein of time as well, um, I was just asked by a student, you know, how much time should I be taking in this class? If you're in a three credit class, um, you're looking at about nine hours per week of just for this class. Okay, so that's a fair amount of time. If you're in a four credit class, like calculus, that's like 12 hours a week. So that's a lot of time just for one class. And so if you're not coming close to that, you might think about, oh, how can I deepen, you know, the amount of time I'm spending on my practice, studying notes, um, you know, reviewing these problems, going through the lectures, going through the readings, maybe a little bit more thoroughly. Um, and it might be a little bit lighter this first week with introduction stuff, but that's about how much you can expect time-wise for this class work moving forward. Again, if you're not coming close to that, you're not really setting yourself up for success. So I try to keep things simple, but so we can get deep, if that makes sense. Um, so that's it in the, in the time window. Oh, the, the third thing is when you can hear from me. This first week, I'm trying to be super active and uh, get back to you guys as soon as I can because um, I want to connect with you all. But I do have 150 students this semester, which is a lot. It might not sound like a lot, but it's a lot. Um, so I'm trying to compartmentalize and be really conscious of my time. So what you'll see is my schedule. And this is when you can expect me to be working directly with inside your class. So I've broken it up. Even though we don't meet in real time, this is when I'm going to be working inside pre-calculus, calculus, and um, algebra. So if you, you know, post to, uh, or, or email me in the you know, dead of night or middle of the day and I don't get back to you right away, know that I will when this comes around. Or if you've submitted work, know that this is the time of day when I'll be working on your class. You can kind of think of it that way. Even if you're not available during that time, that's how I'm approaching my schedule this semester with so many um, credit hours going on right now. So that's just the what you can expect from me, that's just my kind of realistic take on it. Um, outside of that, I still try to be quick in responding, but um, just to let you know, this is when I will be interfacing with your classes based on my schedule. Office hours are obviously all for you. I call them student hours um, to just reinforce that, you know, they'll, they'll all be on WebEx and, they'll all, and they're all for you. They're not for just office work. Last thing is about uh, communication. What I'm going to do is because we've got too many um, communication lines open and the messaging system in Blackboard is just you message me and then I have to log into Blackboard anyway to reply. I can't do it from email. We're going to reduce it to just shoot me an email if it's a personal thing or put it in the ask a question forum because um, that's like raising your hand in the class. And then everybody gets to benefit from that, especially when it's a, a math related question or a course related question. So I'll ask that you push that there and I'm just going to hide the link for messages because. It's just an added thing that seems a little superfluous. So to have too many lines of communication, things can get lost in the mix. Um, so I hope that makes sense. I know I went a little long here, but uh, I hope it clarified kind of where we're at, what you can expect from me, and, uh, and what I'm expecting to see from you all this week. Again, great stuff in the, in the forum so far. Uh, keep it up. Hope you guys are having a great week, and we'll see you in there.